In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the TronGate module import wizard. So here's the idea. Let's imagine you're working on a new web app and suddenly you realize that there's a feature that you'd like to have and it's a feature that you have previously built for another site. So it could be an invoicing system, a discussion forum, a member login system, an online shop, anything at all. And don't forget, TronGate can have modules within modules, so it really could be any feature as simple or as advanced as you like. So the question is, how do we take that feature, specifically that module from the old app, and then add it to the new app? Well, that's what the module import wizard is all about. I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So. Assuming that this is our new site, you can see it says new in the URL. And let's assume that this old site has a module that we like. So here's a module called members. There's nothing special about it. It's just a module. And let's imagine that we want this members module to be added to our new site here. Now, if I just show you the folders, we've got our new site at the top here. And we've got our demo site downstairs. Now, obviously, both of these sites have got a modules folder. So let's uh, go in there. So there's the new one and there's the old one. So we're interested in this members module here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy members and paste. It's as simple as that. Okay, so I've just copied and pasted, no big deal. But of course, there's more to a module than just the files. We have data as well. Do you see the three records on the database table? So let's get that across as well. I'm going to go to PHP My Admin here. There's our table. Now this one is called Members, but it could be lots of tables, doesn't matter. I'm going to export this. And it's going to be an SQL file into the new app. Now, where is it? Here it is here. I'm going to go into modules and it's members. There we go. So I'm going to just save that. And there we are, right? So that's just an SQL file, an ordinary SQL file. Now, if we have a look, and again, this is our new app upstairs here, right? Have a look inside. You can see that we've got our SQL file, and you can see that inside of our members module, we've got controllers, views, all of the stuff that you'd expect to see in a module. Now, this next step, you don't need to do this, but it can help. If you can, if you can, change the permissions so that you can have full permissions to read and write those files. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on that or anything because it's different depending on your operating system. If you can figure out how to do that, so I'm just applying permission to all of the enclosed items. If you can do that, then that's fantastic. But if not, don't worry. Oh, by the way, if you happen to get a module from the module market, and if you're using the desktop app to get your module, then you don't need to worry about any of this because the desktop app automatically takes care of permissions. So here's how it works. I'm going to go back to the new site here, keeping in mind that we have sent members across. I'll get the font a reasonable size. I'm going to just head over to forward slash members. And as you can see, it said SQL files found. Now, in this case, we've just got one SQL file, but it could be a whole bunch of SQL files. So I'm going to click view SQL. Now, remember, this is the new site. OK, this is the new website. And it shows us the content of the SQL file. So here's the content of our SQL file, just so we can see what we're getting. Now, by the way, if our file contained dangerous code, you would get an alert. It actually reads your SQL and it checks for statements like delete, for example. So you would be notified. But nevertheless, 
You can have a look at the code, you can change it if you want, or if you're happy, you can just run the SQL. So here we go. It says you're about to run the SQL files. Are you sure I'm going to say OK? And there you go. Now, it says the SQL file was successfully processed. I'm going to say OK. And then it goes back to the home page. Now, do you remember when I did the permissions thing? The reason why I did that is because it gave PHP permission to delete the SQL file. If I take you back into members, you'll see that the SQL file has gone. It was automatically deleted. Now, if you're not able to change permissions or something, you might have to go in and manually delete the SQL file. But that's fine, it will still all work. So now, I'm going to go to Members, Manage, I'm on the new site, and look at that, the whole thing is working. So that's all the files, the JavaScript, everything, it's all here, and it's all fantasticola. Now, please keep in mind, folks, you are now able to share code, entire features, entire apps, if you want, without having to go through any privately owned third-party websites. Unlike a system like Composer Packagist, you are not downloading something and getting code from 50 other perfect strangers. Now, we have a single point of accountability. Now, you can share code just by emailing someone or putting it on a USB pen and saying, here you go, or doing whatever you like. You don't even need to go through the Trongate site or anything. This is how web development should be. And this is just one of the reasons why Trongate is very different from the other frameworks.